Oh, hey, how's it going? You know, I'm just hanging out here. Thanks for checking back in. <laughs> but this is going to be part 15. We are resuming back into our main story. So buckle up and we will get rolling. Are the others ready to follow wherever you lead? The sensei told them you're the only person on Tsushima who can kill the Khan. I can't do it alone. Or without a plan of attack. And we know he's at Port Izmi, surrounded by an army. We need to know the weakness in their defense. How to get past them. And where to find the Khan. Sounds like we need a hawk's view of the place. I know where we can get one. We'll have cover of darkness if we leave now. Port Izmi. We'll have a better view from the lighthouse. Just need to get up there. Without being noticed. Let's move. Why would the Khan come up here? He'll sail for our mainland. Attack it, just like he did here. This is our last chance to stop him. These flowers? The same ones I used to make my poison. The Mongols have been here picking them. To use against us. Did we do the right thing at your uncle's castle? I took a risk, and my poison saved thousands. What if it kills thousands more? We have to stop the Khan before it comes to that. You're right. We need to kill him soon. Yeah, I think it's safe to say the poison was definitely a mistake. Necessary evil, maybe? I don't, Can't get in the front. I don't know that I got that far. Climb around the cliff. Sneak in through the back. Lead the way. Looks like we're going to have our normal kind of stealthy get around the front lines. It looks like the guy over here on the cliff side is facing in the way and this other guy is patrolling. We'll wait for him to start rolling up and then we should be all right. It's pretty crazy to think how close we are to the end of the game here already. Uh, for those of you who have already played, Clearly we're maybe a couple episodes out here from the end. For those of you who haven't played, I won't have any spoilers here. But uh, it's been fun. Going through this game has been a really fun experience. I've enjoyed it a lot. I appreciate all of you who have taken the time to tune in. Hopefully we can uh, finish this off with a bang. So one of the big things that I didn't focus on in this playthrough that I had in the past playthroughs is the tails working up to this point. 
I don't think that necessarily plays any difference whatsoever in how the story ends or how it plays out or anything related to that. Other than maybe just a little bit of the dialogue that you get. What I think we're still going to do is we're going to focus like if we've been trying to this whole time is on the main story. And then after concluding the main story, I will have a couple episodes where we go through and we'll dive into those tales. I know we're going to have the ones with Norio, we're going to have the ones with Sensei Ishikawa, Lady Masako, I think Kenji, there might be maybe one or two other ones, and then there's also going to be the Mythic Tales, which unlock certain abilities and things like that. You do unlock an armor at the end of the game when you beat it, so we'll kind of model that out as we're going on throughout. Uh, let it be known if you haven't played the game at this point, you haven't had any spoilers. The ending, really the only thing that really you have any decision on whatsoever in the game is really related to the end of the game. Uh, and your decision will impact what armor color you get, not necessarily the armor itself. Um, I'll explain the differences as we get towards that actual point of that part of the game. As of right now, we won't really necessarily worry about that. Okay, since we're good, I think... Oh, hold on. Don't even need to go up. What's in all these barrels? Supplies? I thought it was... Poison. One barrel holds enough to kill hundreds. Khan will use this against the mainland. We can't let him leave Tsushima. He'll scout Port Izumi from the top of the lighthouse. Right behind you. Yeah, I just want... Oh, jeez, it's everywhere. Just want to touch back home on... Uh, poison was definitely a mistake. you see before a storm that could work to our advantage for now i'll leave the lighthouse dark make sure the mongols can use it when the storm hits we can relight it once they're gone let's get a look at the port over here let's find our plan of attack the harbor master's estate the khan may have taken it for himself close to the docks and his fleet makes sense See how the birds are circling? Like they're scared of something on its way. The storm, preparing to fly inland for shelter. We could place archers there. Force the Mongols to fight uphill? Ah, Kota would send horsemen to outflank us. The Mongols left that area empty. Too open. Can't defend it. But a good place for an ambush. That ridge has an open sight line to the Mongol fleet. Imagine what we could do to their ships if we had our own watchers. The Khan is almost ready to sail for our mainland. With ships full of men, explosives, and my poison. If we don't stop him here, the Shogunate will fall. The storm is our key to beating him. When it comes, the Khan will have to shelter his fleet in the bay. That's when we strike. Destroy his ships and everything on them. To do this, we'll need Mongol weapons. A simple task for a master thief. <laughs> we'll need fighters, too. A small force could distract the Mongols while I get inside Port Izmi and kill the Khan. It could work. Let's get back to Jokaku and prepare. I like how they bring up the storm. Try to bring some historical accuracy to it all. Except, to my understanding, I believe the storms rolled in and had more of an impact when they were going into the mainland of Japan. And I think they had already rolled through Tsushima and Nikki Island. But uh, if someone knows the facts on that, please don't hesitate to let me know down below. Okay. So we're on the final, I think, sequence here of Act 3. 
like you guys seen, we've had an overabundance of skill points. Uh, I'm not really going to spend them in any particular order here. I'll give a little pause on each one of these so you have the ability to read them or feel free to pause for a minute yourself and read them. Uh, but yeah, we still have nine left. We're just going to go ahead and spend it. And some of these are going to cost more than one skill point, so they'll go a little bit quicker than that. Exactly enough left. I guess we'll just go ahead and get all these exploration ones. Maybe we'll dive into some of the collectibles and get like a little montage going with that, but who knows. Oh, the plan's coming. Kenji found where we can steal watches from the Mongols. I'm heading there now. That's a good start. But we need more fighters. No. My uncle wants the Khan dead as much as we do. He'll join our attack. He'll throw you in prison. I'll write him a message. Leave it in his quarters. In a castle full of samurai. I'll be gone before they know I was there. I'm not letting you leave without a good horse. I can't replace what you lost, but give one of these a chance. This is all just too soon. Uh, I think this will be the time we'll take the DLC. Passed on the first one. Or in the first horse selection. I usually like this one. This kind of like marbling, like gray and black stallion look. Looks pretty badass, but like I said, we'll go with this guy. Digital Deluxe. Easy there. It's alright. I'm a friend. What will you name this one? Man, Sora. Was that Kaji? Light from the heavens. Sort of seems pretty cool. We're gonna go with the other one. It's all right. I'm a friend. What will you name this one? Kaze, swift as the wind. Good choice. How will you get inside your uncle's castle? I grew up there, and I still remember every hidden path through those old walls. Even as a boy, Lord Shimura couldn't keep up with me. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll cut and we will flash forward when we get to the castle. See you guys there. Jin, why did you run away? I... Wanted to catch an eel for your dinner. Were you planning to catch it with your bare hands? Yuzo said you'd get rid of me as soon as you had a son of your own. Jin, come here. Your friend is wrong. The path ahead may take a lifetime. But I will walk it with you. Always.
Looks like Ryuzo is trying to plant bad seeds from the start. Alright, sneaking in from where we uh, had a moment with good old Uncle Shimra. They won't be watching the cliff face. I mean, somebody's watching the cliff face. Cooler than last time. Be careful, Ghost. The samurai are watching for you. What a cool ass dude. Appreciate it, man. I'm the monster they think I am. I heard Lord Shimura will give a speech outside the main keep later. He wants to rally the men. Maybe we'll find they're going to march against the Kami. Oh, he's got to turn his back on us. Alright, I'm pretty sure they want us to follow behind and suit to the right. I'm gonna just take a little, little gander over here to the left, see if there's anything we can grab. It's looking like this was a terrible plan. And these guys, the roaming NPCs, I guess run a full circle. Hey, now it's all the ways. We got enough supplies to upgrade our gear. So if it isn't clear yet, our goal is we need to sneak in past the Shogun, get into the castle, and then we're going to leave a message with Uncle Shimura, I'm assuming, to ask him to align with our cause. Go after the Khan, kind of give him an update on what we just found with the camp with while we were with Yuna. Um, kind of forcing my hand here. Okay. I think we gotta roll all the way up through the gate and around the corner. Oh man, they were trying to cause a problem for me right there. I mean, I don't wanna. Okay, good. So they, I would imagine they don't want me to assassinate any of these guys. Be honest with you, that form over there is pretty whack. Um, all right. I think I'm gonna try to get on the ladder. Hope I don't get seen. Don't have to be. So, 
Just wait for the guard to finish checking it. Okay, I'm pretty sure there are two ways to go about doing this mission. The bridge. Yeah, all right. We'll find a way to make sure I'm not so this is the bridge we crossed initially when we snuck in to poison the Mongols. You can do something similar. I think they've reconstructed it here. Oh. Reconstructed it? Can't talk, sorry. Uh, all right, yeah. So look, you can actually get across here relatively comfortably using the grappling hook. You've got a couple spots to swing to. I'm going to go back and get in the cart just to kind of keep it with the storyline for those of you who haven't seen that part or haven't played at all. Uh, so you can actually kind of see how it was meant for you to play the mission. These berries in here? <laughs> I help myself. All right, everything's in order. You can go. Thank you, my lord. What was that all about? Lord Simura can't be too careful. The Mongols turned the straw hats against us. We can't be sure who to trust. But we're not warriors. We're merchants. Remember all that Atero, the silk trader? I hear he got some of the ghost's poison and used it in Lady King. She was his only business, man. Now she's a bloated corpse. The poison made her bleed from her mouth. Oh, that's why they such a plot. Who knows what they might be bringing? I would never hurt Lord Shimura. Me neither. That's just how things are now. I'm not too sure what's going on with these drink containers on the side here, but... Need to get inside the main keep. Leave my message in his quarters. Inspiring his new samurai. As motivating as that was, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, roll out of here before they disperse into our direction.
This one's gonna be a nice little dash of the ladder. I have to imagine though, as we go up, it's just gonna get more challenging. The Mongols had much to answer for. Quarters are on the top floor. Now's my chance to get up there. Yeah, this one looks a little bit more congested. And it looks like this is the way they want us to go in. I just feel like I shouldn't go in this way. But I guess these guys are just completely oblivious to their surroundings. Got that potato sense of awareness. And these are the guys you want defending you. You didn't see anything. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, no clue. The Mongols have suffered defeats at Granite Pass and Jogaku Temple. We believe Lord Sa... The ghost is responsible for both. What do you wish to do? We will deal with the ghost once we defeat the Mongols. The Shogun's orders were clear. I am aware of his orders. Our first priority remains the Mongols and their leader. Of course, Lord Shimura. Have you learned the Khan's location? The scouts we sent north never returned. I fear they were caught or killed. Show me where they were searching. We will teach you the tricks of strategic I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go in the window that we just came out of, but I want to take the time to explore. They got a ladder right here, so maybe there's something we can do. Look like there's any drop down in there, so and it's just the enemy NPC. So we'll go ahead and we'll roll back, and then we'll just go in the window beside the one we did. I'm assuming what we need to do is we need to lure that original guard out, kind of away from that ladder into one of these rooms, and then we can make a shot for the ladder. Yeah, because he's facing directly in the direction of where we need to go. I'm dead? I didn't notice that the first time. Yeah, like I said, we can't just walk past them. And even if we went in that other room and dropped down, we'd still walk out right in front of them. 
Let's see if we could potentially use, if I could switch to it, a wind chime and pull him into the room. Heard something. Show me. Looks like he's just completely unfazed. Okay, cool. See if we can get him to go in the other room. Who's there? Let's go. Oh, that was not expected. Oh. Ah, all right, we're out of here. We're dipping. You didn't see anything. Take the message where he can see it. Nothing to find. That's enough. Keep your eyes open. He's here! Guards! Uncle, forgive me for not facing you in person. The Khan's fleet has gathered at Port Izumi. His ships are loaded with poison that will devastate the Shogun's army. But when the next storm arrives, I plan to kill the Khan and sink his fleet. I ask that you join me. I hope we can meet again. If not as father and son, then as warriors who have walked different paths. Whatever you believe I've become, I will always be your family. That's a pretty bo uh, pretty badass exit right there. Alright guys, it's going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you enjoyed this at any point, please consider leaving a like. Appreciate you checking in. Please let me know what you liked down below, what you didn't like. And I will check in with you guys in the next episode.